Swapbox, it's the most affordable soil mapping system in the world, um, just mainly because of the economics behind it and the efficiency behind it and that you can map many thousands of acres very quickly and, and efficiently. Swapbox is a fully autonomous mapping system. We use it to collect the data sets we require from the field, so soil electrical conductivity and RTK elevation, and it's all collected and streamed by the Swapbox via cellular connectivity, and that allows us instant access as map developers to pull the data and begin processing almost immediately after the field has been been mapped. So the challenge that Swapbox was created to address was really the, the scalability of soil mapping and to improve the efficiencies. Probably the world's simplest, easy to use piece of hardware that you just go to the field, fold it down, put a couple pins in, that's all connected. You can mount it on field equipment, you can mount it on trucks, you can mount it on UTVs. Some of the other options that are being used in the industry currently uh, would be NDVI based maps or yield based maps. The problems with these data sets is they, they typically have thousands and thousands of factors that influence them on a, a daily basis. So that information that you collected on one day might not be accurate to the next based on, you know, environmental conditions. So Swapbox, the data sets we're collecting, electrical conductivity and RTK elevation, they're stable data properties. Once that swap map is made, it's good for the, the life of the field. We initially got someone like Derek Rude to come on board and help us to build our hardware. He's like our first hardware engineer and he came in and took an idea that lots of people, including the people that make some of the products, said this will never work, like it can never happen. And now we're out there doing it. So our primary design specification was to not require human intervention to collect the EC and topography data. Just supply electrical power to the system and once it gets moving through the field, it automatically collects and uploads the data to our SWAT record server where our GIS experts can quickly access the data and turn around the SWAT zone maps to our partners. Typically, the mapping has been done with trucks and ATVs that travel across the field, which works very well, uh, but of course requires a person to drive that vehicle around the field. So there's an added cost to this, and anytime there is human involvement in a process, the, the probability of errors can increase. So farmers, they travel across their entire farms with a variety of equipment. So we thought, why can't we mount our autonomous sensor system to farmers' equipment that is already covering their entire farm? The key to mapping is you want to capture the field rather than just map the field. You want to drive over the hills, get in the low spots, drive water runs, make sure that you capture the entire field. So the more you map, the obviously the higher the quality will be of the map. We have a simple training program that our partners can access in our SWAT Academy training portal. And the remote login allows for remote monitoring of mapping progress and data quality. For an independent agronomist or even a larger agronomy company, what we bring is really that whole SWAT ecosystem. It's a whole process that's been proven over, over many years and in many different geographies. We provide the tools like SWAT Box, we provide the software like SWAT Records, and the training in SWAT Academy. If you do have issues, SWAT support's a great place to call, get a hold of them, and the problem usually gets resolved in the field itself. We often hear our partners say when they see this EC and topography maps painted on their tablets while mapping that it really corroborates what they have seen for variability across the farms they work on. With Swapbox providing that foundational data for the swap map, now they can be much more strategic with fertility and seed recommendations across their farm.